Hey, what's up, everybody? It's uh, December 27th, 2019 in Big Bear Lake, California, and we're doing a aftermath video of, of the storm. And like I told you guys, we get like a foot to 15 inches, and I was right. We got like a foot at my house, not three feet. Not three feet like they said. And also, guess who we have with us today? We got Nick with us again. What's up, guys? <laughs> Nick's gonna be chilling for a little bit. Nick, Nick is the man, and uh, he's been very, very helpful, so we're always happy to have Nick around, right? Super happy to be here, especially with Nick. Good oh, friends, <laughs> hanging out with them. <laughs> right on, dude. Right on, man. Yeah, guys, so when you guys come up here, if you ever need MMA training or boxing training, contact Nick. That's what he does. That's what he does. He teaches it, and he lives it, so and he's very good at it. Um, so hit me up, and then, or I can leave his information for you guys. And he, he does private lessons and stuff too. Very affordable, but getting it done and being taught right, that's priceless anyway. You know, you can go learn from all these goons out there who just uh, don't know what they're doing and they charge a fortune to teach you the wrong stuff. And uh, yeah, Nick, Nick knows what he's doing and our other coach definitely thinks he's fantastic. Yeah, so. So this is gonna be a short video, just so you guys can see what town looks like and how much traffic we got going. <laughs> it's a lot of traffic, but we'll we'll take the back streets back, and there's not gonna be anybody, so we'll be good. I'm not worried about it. <coughs> Yeah, so Friday, December 27th, 2019. I can't believe it. 2020 is just right here. Yes, it is. So this is Big Bear Boulevard. This is our main, our main street in town for those of you who are new here. But as I said on the way back to where we need to go, we're gonna record going down the back street so you guys can see the huge difference in the amount of traffic. And I was telling them some of the locals get um, mad at me for like telling them <laughs> like the like secret routes and stuff. But I don't care because I want them to have a good time here. <coughs> Without these tourists, we don't live here. Absolutely, I agree. patient driver as you guys know <laughs> they know I'm being so sarcastic <laughs> they ain't seen it but yeah guys so much for th for like 36 to 40 inches of snow huh look at that roof it's got a hole like three inches obviously they got more than that guys but we probably got a, a foot over here and then by the dam a little bit more Two more miles, okay, cool. I'm gonna stop at a gas station real quick, guys, to get some Fuego for a customer. Well, I've got the Fuego, but they need the lighter. <laughs> All right, let's see here. This is what you guys can expect when you're driving up here. The back roads, when we go back, you'll be able to see more of, of, of the beauty right now. But uh, right now you're just gonna be seeing uh, what, what you guys see most of the time down there, lots of cars. Lots of cars and concrete. And I know, I know, for those of you who get mad at me about not taking the ice off my windshield wipers, I'm, I'm lazy, okay? I'm freaking lazy. <laughs> Thanks, I'm sorry. It's Nick's fault. <laughs> Blame this guy. That's it's all it's his fault. <laughs> so we got a minute, a mile and a half. I gotta stop up here at the gas station to get a lighter. But you know what? I'm not gonna be able to. I don't have any cash on me. <laughs> 
Do you have any cash on you? All right, thank you. Okay. All right, perfect. I'll give, I'll give, I'll give it right back to you. Turn right on Lakeview Drive. You know what? I never refer this place, but I did put my mom up here once, and I but I didn't stay there. That's why I didn't I, I didn't refer you guys um, because I you know I don't want to give you guys a referral for a place that I haven't technically stayed. Uh, but it seemed really nice, and it's right on the lake, and they have a pool, a jacuzzi, and stuff. So the Marina Inn's good too. For those of you who always ask me where to stay, look at all this traffic. Dude. It's incredible. We're gonna avoid it all. Yep, we're going to avoid it all coming back. I would have known we had this traffic going out. I would have uh, gone to the back streets, but that's okay. It's part of the aftermath video, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They need to see this. Dude, dude, yeah, yeah. They need to see what snow causes in terms of traffic. Yeah. Yeah. Drive. I'm not turning right on Lakeview Drive. We're going to go to uh, the liquor store up here on the left and then go to this place. <laughs> Me back, dude. Turn right. Because then I'm much happier. Light. Yeah. All right, guys. So we were going to stop at Chevron, but I remember there's a liquor store just past it up here on the left. So we're going to hit up the liquor store. Get some ice or some lighter. A lighter. Okay, here's the liquor store I was originally thinking last night. guys so I'm gonna stop the video for a second while I go in and get a lighter actually we didn't need to stop the video <laughs> no, we're gonna go in and just get a lighter we'll be right back I got my energy drinks here, and they charge like four bucks a four. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Overpriced everything. Yeah, yeah. But that's, I mean, jeez, man. That's, that's the same. Okay, so we're going to stop this uh, in just a moment, and then we're going to restart it up again. A moment after that. So we just paid $3 for a dang lighter. But that's okay. Oh, thank you, lady. A nice sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Okay. There we go. That's a better picture. I had to stop stop it and turn it back on again. Sorry guys. I think it was trying to focus on something. Where is this ticket? Okay, thank you. I appreciate you, dude. Um, do you have my phone? No. Oh, it's in my hand. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, for privacy of a customer, I'm gonna have to shut this off right now, but uh, I'll turn it back on in a moment on our drive back. We'll take the back street so you guys can see how you can avoid everything to get to Moonridge. All right, bye. Yo, yo, what's up, people? So we're, we're back with my good buddy, Nick. What's up? And uh, I'm going to make him uncomfortable. I'm just going to keep staring at him yeah. for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we just left that other Custa there. And uh, we are going to head back to the home area. 
Oh wait, no, we gotta make another delivery, but we're gonna take the back roads, the back dodes, so we don't hit much traffic. It's gonna be a little bit of traffic through the village, but I just want you guys to, to get a glimpse of what's going on. So look at on top of the roof of the liquor store right there that just charged us $3 for lighter. They got about a foot of snow. And uh, I'll, I'll say maybe they got a couple more inches, but we didn't get the three feet that every news media outlet and with uh, even my favorite app said, but my favorite app was only repeating the winter storm warning that the National Weather Service had uh, put down for us. You know what? We're gonna skip the village and take the back streets. And this guy's not even paying attention. No, he's not even looking at shit. <laughs> Live or not, not live, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, oh no, 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 me, no, no, you're not doing anything. <laughs> it's me I have to watch out for because I get freaking irritated. Okay, so you guys are, are gonna get to see uh, this beast handle like you like to see it, and we're on a very steep incline. Once again, it doesn't look steep through here, does it? No, not at all. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. You can hear the car though. Yeah, oh, <laughs> you, you know what? That's a great point. That's a great point. I'm like punching it, you guys, basically. Now I'm punching it. Alright. Just to make sure we get up to the top, and we're good. Now we're going to turn left on Ironwood. That was my nickname from my ex. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kidding. <laughs> Sorry. I like to play golf. <laughs> <coughs> oh god oh that's great <laughs> oh look at that view that's amazing oh my gosh dude that is absolutely ridiculous we're gonna have to sit right here and take a picture guys i don't do thumbnails but this is gonna be the thumbnail for this video holy schmoly that is just magnificent dude just simply something to behold Okay. Where did I put the other one? Oh wait, we haven't got that the other one yet. Okay. Now this is very steep going down, you guys. Like I'm really being an idiot trying to take us down these and up, but I think we're gonna be okay. Man, this is so steep, you guys. Oh, and there's some car flying up. I'd rather be going up on this one. Ah, it's so beautiful over there, you guys. Man. I'm watching the road, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not gonna do what everyone thinks I'm gonna do. Flip out, man! <laughs> I'm a big half-baked fan. I'm sure these people will know that by now. I mean, my company's name is Mr. Nice Guy. Okay, we made it, no struggles, guys. Now we're kind of behind the main drag at the village. And we're gonna be going back to the other end of the village real quick to head back home on the back streets, or at least to get back to Moonridge on the back streets so you guys can see for your sales how to save some time so you're not as frustrated when you're up here. And you know what? Look, see, when there's traffic right here, what do we do? We turn into Jack in the Crack parking lot and cut through. Yeah, and look at the line for the jack-in-the-box man oh my goodness gracious my friend <laughs> oh thank you come again oh all right guys Take your time. I don't want someone running and then eat, eat crap. Eat crap yeah. Sorry, get, sorry, ladies. Yeah, Have a good one. I know I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want any of you to respond to that, okay? Thank you. <laughs> they know I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a lady these days. Someone who's willing to like be the, the female version of Nick and just chill here and hang out with me all day. You know, and yeah. uh, so all, all, all my fans know, you know, I'm looking for someone, you know, I'm looking for someone and because I'm shallow, as you guys know, someone cute and, uh, um, and you know, I got money. We'll have fun. 
we'll have fun. So I know that's what you ladies want, especially from a guy like me that doesn't look like Brad Pitt. So <laughs> I look like Brad's Pitts. <laughs> Man, look at that fire, guys. Isn't that just wonderful? I don't know if you know this, Nick, but that tree right there on, on the corner, that is our town's Christmas tree that they do the lighting for. I've seen it. Okay, okay. That is the main one. Oops. Sorry about the video being so long, you guys. Yes, maybe I'm acting extra a fool because my friends with me, but it is what it is. I'm really surprised we haven't seen anyone point this out yet, though. Holding the camera. Usually when there's this many people, I I I, I, I get recognized by someone. Hey buddy! Hey buddy! Hello, <laughs> cute bye. Okay guys, we got through the village. And we are going to take the back streets once we get through. See, everybody's going to make a left here. Up here. Everybody. Unless they don't live here. Or unless they live here. They'll be making a left. Because they don't realize that you, uh, you can go straight through the neighborhood, but you got to make a bunch of turns. And most likely you'd get stuck if you had no idea. Because you do end up driving into a little deeper snow through this route because you're up against the mountain. But if you're comfortable and you're courageous enough, you can, you can make it for sure. I, I definitely. Man. Nick's got game with girls, man. I need to hang out with Nick. And freaking learn learn some skills, man. Because as soon as I open my mouth, I blow it. <laughs> as soon as I find out she digs me, I turn into someone totally different and I just blow it. Like, immediately. <laughs> like, immediately. Throw away all your secrets. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> By the way, guys, after the first date, I suck. <laughs> <laughs> We're making Nick blush, you guys. <laughs> He's such a good guy, you guys. This guy is one of the most respectful, respectable people that I've ever met. And moreover, I don't think I've ever felt about a friend as deeply as I care about him to want to help him out, protect him, be his friend, and... Uh, it's a beautiful thing, man. This guy, he deserves so much for everything he's gone through, been through, and is gonna go through. And he just, uh, his reactions to, to all this stuff, guys, is just amazing because I go crazy and how grown up he is and mature about things and, and just doesn't wanna fight about it and just takes that high road even though I, like, uh, man, I, God bless this guy. He's an honor to have as, as a friend and someone I think I can call my best friend. You don't have to call me your best friend, but you're you're definitely my best friend. Man, that means the world to me. You, this, you're an incredible guy. Obviously, saying the stuff like you do just now is kind of like that helps somebody in their life, especially when they're going through a tough time, knowing that somebody believes in them and is there for them. And I hate asking Nick for anything, but he absolutely he desires to help me any way he can and he's proven that time and time again and I hope he understands that I would absolutely do anything in the world for him and he means the world for me. I just met him a couple years ago when I moved up here and in that time we've grown extremely close and he's definitely one of my best friends in this world and I appreciate him more than I think he will ever fully understand. So. You know what? I, I appreciate that guys. I appreciate that guys. That was pretty amazing, huh? That's pretty amazing. To have people feel like you about that, I'm telling you what, man, that is the greatest feeling. That is the greatest feeling. So I'm just I'm, I'm just honored I'm able to help him out. And uh, uh, I mean, it's it's so easy to help someone out who's such a good human being. So it takes nothing, it takes nothing. So it's not a big deal at, at all. I just appreciate the gratitude shown and um, not that I expect any. Um, but it's just nice for people to appreciate, you know. <coughs> Definitely appreciate it. It's not like I'm doing much 
you know, I'm just hanging out. So, yeah. But yeah, guys. So, um, once again, just a, a reminder: when you guys come up here, let's say it's snowing and you don't feel like going out or doing something, you, you, you know, if you've always wanted to learn martial arts, mixed martial arts, contact Nick and maybe get a, a private lesson on some of these snowy days and stuff. I'd make sure he would get there if his car wouldn't get him there. Um, yeah, you guys would be stoked, man. Something else really awesome to do up here. This is where all the biggest fighters in the world come to train, you guys, at altitude up here. The best boxers who have ever lived, they used to come train up here. Like uh, MMA fighters all the time. You know, team punishment and stuff. Tito's team was always up here. Always up here. Um, yeah. So guys, you see that? We took the back streets. Look, we're on Brownie now. And we haven't, like what? We passed a car, right? Yeah. We haven't had anything in front of us. We, we passed a car coming our way. So um, I didn't explain to you guys which, which roads those are. So it starts off on Pennsylvania which is the road that the village turns into, Pennsylvania. And then I can't remember where you turn a left on, but then you turn on Oak, and then you turn again on, on Brownie. But if you guys just rewind this and just follow it back, you'll, you'll be able to see, but I'm, I'm telling you, traffic, when we look to the left here at the stop sign, you'll see it's gonna be stopped here to the left. Watch. Oh, no, it's not stopped, but they're going really slow on, on Big Bear Boulevard. They're going really slow. We don't have to go that slow. Look, see, they're just barely moving. We're not gonna speed, we're in a neighborhood, but we, we don't have to go that slow. We don't have to go 10 miles an hour, we can go like 12. <laughs> Dude, I have a video of some guy who got hit with a huge puddle of, of like ice water. And do <laughs> yeah, see his reaction. <laughs> I felt so bad because I, I saw the whole thing and it, it's on tape and so many comments are like dude laughing their asses off at like 14 minutes and three seconds and so I, I always fast forward it, it's the same clip it's the, <laughs> he's like oh fuck yeah it was pretty funny can, can you hold this because the cops right there thank you you're allowed to hold it please Please. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you. I don't mean to. How you doing? <laughs> What's up, man? He's the one who uh, uh, didn't know how to like uh, deal with the restraining order. <sighs> anyway, that was that. Thank you, Nick. So we are almost back to the homestead, folks. Oh, here's some a police officer. Wow, that's an interesting undercover car. Is that a Subi? It, it, no, it's a Ford. No, yeah, it's a it's a it's a Ford. It's a Ford cop car. He doesn't even have exempt plates, so he's really undercover. Anyway, guys, this is the video. Um, I am going to shut it down and just once we get to Moon Ridge Road because we got to head up to an, another customer I think this is a long enough video 25 minutes to see the aftermath. You guys will be stoked um, Yeah, I love you guys a lot and uh, I want you guys to say bye to Nick um, Or not bye. See you later. See you later guys. You're gonna be seeing a lot more of him. I assure you that uh, He's a super cool dude and uh, yeah uh, Very blessed very 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 blessed and yeah, dude, absolutely so this is gonna be it. We're gonna shut it off right now. Take care, you guys. I love you guys a lot, and I'll see you in a little bit. See ya. As far as you know. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back on. I wanted to turn it back on instead of quit right there because we did have to go to the, uh, the other side of town, but I thought we were gonna be dealing with a bunch of traffic going this way. So I figured you guys wouldn't wanna deal with that, but we didn't hit much traffic, so I figured we'd take some more back streets once we get here to Division Road to get where we need to go. And then uh, we'll take the back streets home. So it's gonna be a long video, a good 35, 45 minutes, but you guys are gonna get a sense of what it looks like on both sides of town, on both on the both sides of town. Okay. We're gonna make a right here on division. Then we're gonna go down Sugarloaf Boulevard until we get to 
uh, sawmill. This is Sugarloaf. This is like the main back road, you guys, that takes you all the way from like uh, Big Bear City. Uh, it's 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 the easier way to get to Big Bear Lake, taking this. And you can see some of these guys are clearly locals because they're hauling butt on these back side roads right here. There's three cars in front of us. And there's a little bit of traffic, you guys. It's still not as bad as being on the main boulevard, which is still stopped out there. It's just crazy. Just crazy. <laughs> I think I'm going to name this video Nick and Nick. It's something aftermath. I like something, yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. We'll they love you, dude. Turning. They love you, man. I love them. Man. They do read their comments so i definitely appreciate that yeah it's amazing how people who don't even know us like are willing to show us that much love it's just it's just amazing to me this channel really has changed me it really has i i can see how important they are to you thank just you just based on the amount of time this guy's eyes are bloodshot right and he's sitting there up at night replying to everybody's comments i only have 18 more to go i only have 18 more to go <laughs> So what if I get a couple of extra minutes to sleep? <laughs> he loves you guys. He lives for you guys. You know what? He's he he's not lying, guys. Like he literally said verbatim what I said last <laughs> night. Like literally. Um, I really do care about you guys a lot because my family abandoned me. Um, and then once I got my stuff together, they just didn't want me back. And uh, um, you guys know me a little bit and have accepted me. And I can't tell you how much that means to me. It's, it's a, as, as, as I tell you guys all the time, you have much more of an impact on my life than you'll ever, ever understand. Ever understand. And I keep on telling them this because I want you guys to understand that it's so important what you guys do for me emotionally. It's so important. You guys really don't have any idea. And that's why I repeat it over and over and over again because you guys are just, just the gift of life that keeps on filling my heart up. Absolutely filling me up, man. You guys keep me full. I can be, you know, half empty in that pessimistic spirit and then you guys optimize my life just by being so kind and considerate. So thank you guys. And I hope you guys never get sick of me thanking you guys because I'm never going to stop. This not this big tree. I need to go down to Sawmill. Sawmill was my favorite Mexican restaurant in this town called uh, Cocina de Mexico. It's very good. Very good. If you guys like Albertos, it's kind of like Albertos. Only thing that I wish they had, that I wish every Mexican restaurant had, is Albertos hot sauce. Man, I'm telling you, like that hot sauce will make any food just amazing. Have you? Oh, wait, sorry. Oh, you're good. Have you been back here? Mm, no, I haven't. Actually, you're gonna get to learn a lot of these cool little tricks back road tricks so you can avoid all the traffic all right guys so for customer privacy i'm going to shut it off for a moment and then we'll get back on the video on the way home to take the back streets all the way and then uh, uh we'll get this video up and loaded i know you guys have been waiting on the aftermath i slept in really late today it should have been already uploaded so forgive me but i love you guys for being patient with me all right guys i forgot to turn the video on as soon as, as we left we're on the back streets i want you guys to know where we're at right now right over there is big bear boulevard to the right that stop sign over there and we're on sherwood right now which is running parallel because there's going to be there's a lot of traffic on big bear boulevard right now and we're trying to avoid it this is a very steep hill right here okay we're going to stop at the gas station real quick let our brother get some stuff he needs real quick and then we will uh we'll start putting the video together to upload 
Look, guys, there's no traffic. There's there's nobody. There's nobody. I mean, this is this is great. And as I said, for for all you guys, man, it really doesn't matter to me what the locals say about when it comes to helping you guys out and making your guys' stay better and easier. Like, uh, I want you guys to come back. Bottom line, and I want you guys to have a good time. Sitting in traffic for hours is not a good time. And when there's other ways, and people get upset about you knowing other ways so you can have a better time, that makes no sense to me. And those people need to learn a lesson. Like all the ski lifts in a big earthquake like fall down and then we can't have skiing up here for a while. See what happens to this economy. And then they'll be happy to give all you guys the shortest cuts and this and that. Oh no. I'm such an idiot, dude. I'm such an idiot, Nate. I'm sorry. Because we gotta go that way. The other way. Yeah. Yeah. I was just curious. You gotta go really bad, right? I'm good. We're good. Okay. Yeah, let's just turn down this street and go back and make a left. <laughs> Gosh. Sorry guys. Here's here's the street. I always pass it because you can never see it. But this is Okay, so instead of making a right on division guys, I was supposed to make a left. And we're gonna be driving by your old place. Now we're gonna make a left. Cause in between division and Stanfield cutoff guys, it was bumper to bumper the whole way. It'll take us 30 minutes just to get through. There's the snow play park for you guys. One of the two that we have up here. One of the two paid for parks. <laughs> Someone typed in something like, no cop, no stop. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. This guy's charging. Nice. First tractor driver ever seen. <laughs> Just haul it. Totally. It's new suspension, but it's doing pretty good other than that. <coughs> All right, guys, so we're gonna make a right up here. Because this should take us to Stanfield. It should. Both ways, dude. Yes, yes, okay, cool. Yeah, sure, then we gotta make a left and then a right, that's right, okay. Oh, man. The middle of the road. As you guys see, a perfect place to put on chain. So, like, guys, this this is what we say all all, all all the time. Not in the middle of the road. Look at us, like we're the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> I, I know that's funny. What, how dare you guys drive on the road? <laughs> I know. We're parked here, putting in our chain. How rude. <laughs> I love it. I love the logic. <laughs> Guys, that's 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 what we go through up here all all the time, but we're patient and and I know most of you guys are considerate and would pull over cuz you know, it's it's just what you do, but yeah. Like that was a perfect example of what not to do. It could have been worse. He he could have been in one of the main roads, but still Still, you just you just never know. You just never know, and you don't want to impede traffic like that in any way. Because let's say I'm not a good driver in these kind of conditions. That was kind of a downslope. I could have lost a little bit of control slid and slid right into him. Yeah. Am I going right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then right again. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, I want you guys to understand. It's it's not that I'm getting mad at you guys. It's the situation. I don't want you guys getting hurt because of something like that. You, you're, you're trying to be innocent, put on chains, be safe. But the thing is being in the middle of that lane, you are creating so much danger for yourself and the other people around you because this is ice and snow. Um, you just don't want to be in the way of thousands of pounds of metal rolling right at you. So um, that's the only reason we're not mad. Just want you guys to be safe. You know, it's frustrating, sure. But I'd never be mad at you about it. Left or Crystal Lake sounds familiar. Yeah. 
Crystal Lake is two streets down from from you. This should be Stanfield right here. Okay, that's where it is. It should be Stanfield. Or the next one will, will be Stanfield. Okay, Crater Lake. Stanfield's right up here. Okay. Yes. Oh, I know what this So we're running parallel to Fox Farm yeah, right now. Yeah. That's exactly... Okay. I never knew this. Okay. I've never taken this, guys. So this is new for us. Wow, this is a... Wow. In 2,000 videos, this is new. <laughs> wow, I thought we hit, we'd hit everything up here. That's some beautiful homes, huh? Absolutely. Man, and the thing is, is that we could live in something like this for like 1,500 a month, like that. 1500 two, two, two grand a month like that'd be something I I'd, I'd be willing to do is is move into a big place and pay majority of the rent to take the master bedroom type type thing unless like someone else wanted the master bedroom but <laughs> but I'd like living in a bigger place and since I I can now I would kind of like to live where I can have a nice view and stuff like that and enjoy life like up on the hill in a big big beautiful house or something I'm willing to spend a few grand a month just on me. So if I have a, a couple cool roommates, man, and they spend five, six, seven hundred a month, and I spend two grand a month, oh my gosh, man, we, we could get a freaking mansion up here for three grand, an absolute mansion. And I'm not joking. Like, uh, it, you know? Yeah. So if like someday, when you're in that that position, you know, because I still have a year's worth of rent paid on on, on my place right now, so nice. we're actually 14 months still. <laughs> Which is nice, I don't have to worry about that. Alright guys, so that video was so much longer than I than I anticipated, but it's okay. You got awesome, you got to hang out with, with two cool dudes and uh we got to hang out with thousands of you cool people. So anyway, we're gonna say goodbye for right now. See you guys. Thank you guys for being really good to us and uh yeah, I really appreciate everything you guys do for us. I really do. You guys are the sweetest people. And as I always tell you, you, you guys warm my heart and fill my soul. So thank you very much. And uh, we will be talking to you guys later. Peace out.